Part 39 on Suck Professor. Hi everybody, me Hank. I mean, the Bronze King. We've just upgraded our entire uh, abilities. So we have so much new stuff to build. Look at all this stuff in here. Um, welcome to the show. Lots of adventuring, lots of metal gathering. I'm actually gonna put my earpiece back in my ear so I can concentrate. Being able to, oh, there we go. I can hear myself speak into the microphone now. Okay. What is all this stuff? What's it going to take? It looks all heavy as heck. Um, way better armor. So what's my current? Kuros, that's like a, that's a shirt, right? So currently my armor with leather is four. I could up that to eight with the movement speed cost. That's double, but doesn't seem that much different. Oh, look at that. Eight bronze. So each bronze costs two copper, one tin. So essentially, if I want to make this, that's 16 copper, one tin. Now, bronze nails. Ships and fur oh, furniture. You know, I got to make, you know, I got to make furniture. Let's make some nails. New, new recipes, cart and bronze nails. Oh, I received them. Okay. All right, what's this cart? It must be in the menu here. We'll get back and look at some of those items. Oh yeah, so we're really building out here. I can make, I don't have, oh, I do have a lot of tin. You know what, hold on, sorry, getting a little, a little overstimulated. Let's make sure this thing is still running. We have charcoal to add. Gotta remember to re, keep it running. Let's just try not to forget. Let's keep pumping this thing full of wood. We're going to turn this forest into charcoal so that I can have better weaponry. And then everybody will respect me. Um, all right. Let's grab ore. I do have a decent bit of tin. Wow, how much of a weight that is. It is good that they let you carry heavy stuff because it is. You, sometimes you just need to haul a little heavy shit over across the room. All right, keep that going. Load it up. Coal heavy. Kind of two per. Well, I guess do that first, and then empty what I got. I just put ore in a box over here or something. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of new recipes. All the exploring is paying paying off nicely. Um, I think I can build a sconce. That'll be fun. Um, let's uh, see. So we got nails now. Let's take a look. At, I know there's a workbench upgrade, which is the cauldron probably, as well as anvils. And it only takes wood... Oh, forge improvement. Okay. Actually, the cauldron doesn't say workbench upgrades, so that might. Huh. Okay. Okay. I am definitely wasting honey by not having honey or beehives. I have eight had a moment of like, wait a minute, why aren't you doing that? So let's get our bee hive farm going. What do we need? Ten wood. What's in here? Some wood. So we'll make like three. We don't... Oh, come on, just grab them. I don't have enough wood for three. Too much. That's all this frickin'... I'm lousy with metal. <laughs> I don't have any coal. Okay. Got shit tons of metal on me. Let's pick it all up. Just pick it all up. We're 
walking across the room here. <laughs> okay, okay, finished. Screw it, let's just put it right there. Okay. Oh, here's the nails. Dip some furniture. It's weighing 10, that's quite a bit. Um, we are still doing the bee thing, but I just want to see what sort of furniture. How many nails go in a deer rug? Okay, so nothing yet, it seems. Doing all a lot at once. I'm a little bit excited with all this. Let's get rid of those circling cores since I don't think that. How did I put them? I guess that's fine. You know what? We'll put them with the ore. We'll put them down there. We'll also do the bees in a second. I know I'm all over the place, but I just want to... I want to have daylight when I do the bees. In fact, I'm having a hard time seeing much better. Okay, so we have a workbench. We can do a cauldron. That's kind of what I was thinking of. But let's space some stuff out. Let me just... Get rid of a few things, because my inventory is cluttered and driving me a little bit nuts with how cluttered it is. And then seed. I definitely need to plant some of these. And I also want to figure out. I'm going to need some wood. But before we do that, new stuff. Okay. So sconces. That's not really new, but um, we need 10 tin for cauldron. Don't know what it does. We need bronze. We could easily do that. Okay. Let's keep our factory pumping out here. No charcoal, I used it all up. Put the, well, we will have 30 tin, or I mean, there's 30 tin. Gonna go get trees, but let's get a little focused. I'm thinking about putting this there. That'll look cool. It might look cool over here too, but that needs to be close. And then for forge upgrade, yeah, I think that's fine. And that'll help us do upgrades probably. So stuff we can build. We just basically need a crap ton of bronze. All these different items. A bronze helmet. The leather helmet weighs one, so this is three times as heavy. A copper knife. Man. Dude, all this is great. A spear. I think that... Alright, so I think the shield this would be great too. We need a lot of metal. <laughs> I want to make one of everything. A mace. That looks cool. That'll replace a club. So a shield and and a copper knife probably makes sense. Um, okay, and then I'll be able to upgrade. Oh, let's repair, and then we'll go chop the trees down. some night critters. So the days of weak weapons are almost over. But uh, they really make you work for the metal. I gotta go pretty far. It's not super far, honestly, but uh, it's a haul. Back and forth. Hey. Try to get behind him and do that backstab thing. Ok. 
kill those necks. And that rolls out into the water. Jeez, that guy came running up. One survival tip I think it's important is to never run into the path of a guy chopping a tree down. It's also a good rule for golf. If a guy is trying to chop a tree down with a golf club, avoid that person. Graydorf eye, still no idea. I'm gonna leave just a few like little stands because I feel like that might what the fuck? Oh, what's oh, for? I'm just hoping that like leaving little spotty trees occasionally will help regrow. Or do you only get regrowth from planting the seeds? Hello. Come see me. Want to be friends? Oh no. What happened to my friend? I killed him. I thought we were playing. I know eventually I'm gonna get comfortable enough. I'm just gonna start picking my nose and shit and forgetting that I'm doing on camera. I've already started to be like a rub the end, you know, just kind of give it a little touch. I think too, like, my nose hairs are long. I got quarantine, quarantine distances going on in there. But I yank them out sometimes and that's fun. That can be a strange kind of masochism. Okay. Tons of wood. Over a hundred, so let's wow. Power up our station here. Fill it up with coal. Put some coal away. Um, tin. All right, man. Well, what should be the first thing we build? Uh, plenty of tin there. Stone, wood, wood. I think I need some of that wood. Let's eat some food. Okay, gosh, so many decisions. Uh, what did I, what's really jumped out as being, I need to make bronze though for all this stuff. There was something that took tin. Yes, anvil, right? I don't know if I need to do that because I, I haven't even made stuff yet. So do I really want to upgrade? Yet? I don't know. Let's do the cauldron. No idea what this does. It's pretty cool though. First, does it indicate if it's a... Uh... Don't want anybody to trip on those legs. What? Oh, tin. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, 
Ooh. Oh, food cooking. I knew there was going to be food recipes. Queen's jam. All the more reason I'm going to need honey. Unless it's like the Queen of England wrapping. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Ooh. <laughs> That's her getting ready to beatbox. Um. Okay. Wow. A lit. Oh fuck! I gotta put a fire under. Okay. That should have been obvious, kind of, wasn't it? Uh. All right. Fire. Five wood. Five stone. Well, stuff is really starting to happen. Let's see if this... I can even build a fire right here. Not rotating doesn't do it. Okay, we gotta kill the floor. What is that? Boom. A little uncomfortably close close to the house, but it seems like wood doesn't burn really, so we're gonna go let it let it roll. Oh man. That's so great. Okay. Let's cook. Look, what how does this go? Oh my god. Dandelions. I knew it. I, I had predicted maybe they were like a, a pigment for coloring your shields. What the fuck? Oh, that. Did it go? Why did it go out? Hmm. You, okay. I think maybe we just need to do this again. Let's just take it out. And break that, too. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Press 5. Press 5. I think that no oh, dirt over there, but that's alright. Alright. A little bit of ways. That'll feel a little more comfortable. What is oh yeah, this cart. That's uses nails. So is that for transporting stuff, I'm guessing. Am I gonna build like a whole dock with like a big boat and I can like load it up with carts full of stuff? That's cool. I would love that. Set up some like huh. Man. Okay. Come on, thing. Would you work this time? There we are. Home is where the stew is, isn't it? Okay. So. Mead base. So honey. We need a lot of honey. Now I see why I wish I'd had the honey. The queens. I'm just keeping them in the... Oh, everything's based on honey. <laughs> <laughs> except, except the queen's jam. So just these heal faster, but they sure use up a lot of stuff, don't they? But, wow, okay. That's a stamina. So these are like potions. Okay, cool. Healing. So I think healing is good, but we gotta get honey, man. Wow, now just gathering stuff takes on a whole other type of... Huh. All right. All right. What is the cart, though? I'm just... Bronze nails. And can I push it around? That's... I guess that's the point of having a cart, but... Hang on. Actually, let's uh, keep our thing going. No, I'm not going to do it. I already freaked myself out enough. Um... ordering that thing as soon as I'm done. It fixed my electrical issue I was having with uh, the output from my computer for the podcast. But I'm going to be working on my podcast tomorrow. Although you, by the time you guys see this on YouTube, it'll be way past time jump. Sunday today. Tomorrow means Monday. You'll probably see this stuff like later in the week. But uh, yeah, I haven't been doing it yet. I've been kind of, everything sort of put on hold and I made, a, made all those websites and doing face cam, getting on Twitch, getting on back into the let's play stuff and just leaning into what I think my skill is, which is talking and 
editing and putting shit on the internet. So hopefully someday that all leads to something. Um, the dream is to never have a boss. I'd like to have collaborators, people I do cool projects with. And I will take a boss if it's like Matt Groening, who I talked to once in a green room for about 10 minutes. Really nice guy. Um, that was cool. He's like super influential in my life. I said to him, and I kind of fucked it up. I, I thought of the line ahead of time, and I, I was like, I said to him, I go, hey, you're the reason I became a comedian, so thanks for ruining my life. <laughs> I didn't say it with that kind of delivery. I said, like, hey, you're the reason I uh, became a comedian, uh, so thanks for ruining my life. I was a little better than that. I didn't flub it, but I didn't... It, it was a... I got on base with an error, you know, it slid right through the second baseman's legs. It wasn't exactly like a, a powerful hit, but it, it laughed. He laughed. He, it worked, and we chatted a little bit. And I uh, I grabbed him really hard by the top of his arm, and I said, if you don't give me a fucking job, and I pushed my thumb into his nerves, under his muscles, and I said, give me a job, you motherfucker. Let me write for The Simpsons, and I punched him really hard in the gut. And um, that was it. That was fun. Yeah, there's more to that story. It's really not that interesting. Uh, okay. Where the hell? Okay. Getting distracted. Bad at staying focused. We are making a cart. Okay. <laughs> Let's just build it right here in the middle. And then we're going to do bees. Because we clearly need to turn this place into a honey farm. Alright. I have wood. I have bubbling. Good thing I'm running, burning it. I don't have any way to cook anything out of there yet. Oh, you know what? we got to keep this thing going. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Sorry, just hang with me. It's too much going on for my little head to handle. I'm trying to keep stuff moving. Don't grab all of them. Just take ten. Okay, since I'm doing this, just do this too. Full. All right, it's gonna be nice. Once once we get through this initial surge of hyperactivity with all this stuff, I'll settle into more of a rhythm with how all this stuff is gonna go. So okay, but I picked up the. All right, and it needs wood. No. Okay, yeah, no, do that. All right, here comes a cart. Huge. Oh. Use storage. Oh, okay, it moves. <laughs> Not in the right position. Does it attach to me? Okay, I know. Okay. Oh god. There it goes. <laughs> yes, I have a cart. <laughs> Come on, everybody! Let's go get some graylings. Take them for rides. And I'll, and, I'll, and I'll get all the graylings to jump into the back. And I'll bring them over to the uh, charcoal kiln and I'll dump them into the fire. <laughs> we gotta go red. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I don't know why red is the... Well, that's not red. That's lusty pink. Okay. <laughs> Sprint. He can run. It's following him. Oh, there's one. Come on, buddy. Jump in. Your Uber's here. Hop on in. Hey! My Prius! Don't you get any vomit on my leather seats. Come on. Hop on in. What if he breaks it? I'll fucking kill him. All right. I guess you'll just have to follow behind. Don't forget to rate me five stars, or else I'll... My children will die of thirst. Because we have a great system. I meant to say hunger, but, you know. Come on! This way. Now i got to build road systems, and i got to have, like, a... Can I get the cart on a, on a raft? That's what I really want to know. Because then I can haul... Okay, get off the cart now. How do I... 
Oh, fuck. Now I don't know how to get away with it. <laughs> how do I get rid of the cart? Yeah, I gotta fight this guy. <laughs> I gotta fight him. <laughs> what the fuck's he doing? Here. Fight me. <laughs> don't go in my house. You fucking bitch. <laughs> My eyes are watering. 115. Um, ooh, a bird. Oh, damn it. Come on. Oh, jeez. I've lost my touch. Apparently having a card attached to you. Fuck, did I knock it? Oh, okay. Use again. Alright. <laughs> Why did I not? I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's not that funny, but that's just, that just, uh, yeah, all right. Man, I haven't laughed that hard since I found out Trump got COVID. Um, <laughs> that's like the only time I've laughed in the last year. A genuine, honest laugh. Not that my other laughs are dishonest, you know what I mean? But just like one of those reflexive, look, whoa! <laughs> Whew. This is so cool. And this makes me think of, like, shipping. Like, now I'm going to set up a whole operation... But I can go load up wood and stuff, and haul it back, and these guys are really, uh... It's like they figured out how to make stuff work in this kind of intuitive ecosystem of inventory and resource management. And then they just sort of let their creati creativity kind of flow out of that. It seems kind of cool. Alright, let's actually practice here. Let's, let's put something in the cart. Let's see, I want to put a piece of tin in the cart. Wait, does it... Just put all the tin in there. Whoa! <laughs> uh, oh boy, I've lost it. I think I need to go eat some hot dogs and eggs. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. This is a... Now we're doing Uber Eats. Okay, get right there. Okay, yes. Let's see how much it stays on. It's shaking around. Go oh no, I lost. <laughs> wasn't even in the basket. Okay. I know it's a storage thing. I know I can just put stuff in there. All right. This is cool. This is really damn cool. I need to fix up some of this area. Gonna do a lot more. Don't worry, we're not quitting this video just yet. Um. Honey, we gotta do the queen stuff. God, there's so much here. And then maybe like in the next video or two, we'll, we'll fart around with weapons and stuff. But for now, I, I think making the honey, getting the honey good cooking. Mead. It's pretty popular. Should have been able to intuit that, that uh, they'd be. I think I put my queen down here with the certling core. What if they had a baby? A certling queen. Um, eats. Food is down. Let's a little emptying of stuff. Let's be a little slow. If I just slow down a little, I'd get shit done quicker because I'd be a little bit more deliberate about my inventory and all that other shit. So, in that spirit, let's do the math. We want to make eight honeys. Honey things. Which means... I need 80 wood. And I have a bunch of tin on me, so that's too much weight. Um, can I put a honey hive on a cart? And then I can drag that around. And I have a mobile chemical weapons dispensary. Mmm, warm flat seltzer. Um... Where's all the wood? 25. Didn't I just... Just had a weird burp. This thing... Okay, I thought that was like slowing me down when I was walking past that. Keep this going. Is there nothing in there?
Okay. Put the coal away. I got wood. This fire up. Wait, that's all the wood I have. Ah, fuck, whatever. I'll just go chop down some more. We're gonna want more of that anyway. You know what? Let's do it the smart way. Yeah, this is gonna help. I mean, heck, these back and forths must get pretty tedious. There's a good spot. Stamina. Hold on, let me uh, back it up. Beep, beep. Oh, I didn't. Work. Beep, beep. Okay, let's get rid of that. Oh God! Now, if I cut that tree down, it'll probably kill the, break the cart. Eight. So there are so many weapons. I should probably specialize in whatever my best skill is, but okay. And I, I don't like my cart. I feel like I like <laughs> so just put it right right in the line of fire from some of these. So let's bring it to safety. Good. It functions well. It feels like it's in the world. Now we have to actually collect dandelions. And berries. I'm starting to get a little bored of the berries, thinking like, I don't need any more of these things. These are dumb. I got so many of them, but now it's going to be an ongoing thing of gathering and supplies and stuff. Can I bring the cart full of gifts to the campfire? I don't know. So what, what's those yellow? Are those like crit spots? Am I just getting a lucky roll and getting a maximum hit? Buzzing's getting worse. Come on. I'm really hoping. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I can tell I'm strip mining. Well, clear cutting is the logging term. This whole area, so I feel like I should really probably. Don't stand down roll of the log it's about to roll let me break it um i gotta put some seeds down figure that out too but for now we're focused on honey because that's obviously a valuable resource let's eat some food so here let's just try Putting the seed so seven use beet seeds on what? What do you think on what? Do I pathen? Is that like how you do I have to make a little uh, fencing? Like it's a garden, that's the only way to tell it it's okay. <laughs> Punch. What the fuck? I just don't. Right click, plant them to grow a beech tree. Mm, that's really, come on, it's so annoying. Why wasn't it doing it the first few times I was playing? Sorry guys, I know it's fussy, but it's, all I hear is like every eight seconds. Okay, more wood. 
What's my inventory? 234. Is the map clearing? Yeah, the map does reflect tree density. It seems like it is at least. Okay. Oh man, this is so great. Look at this. And please show it. Oh yeah, cool. It's got like containers. That's cool. Ooh, I just heard ooh. And the buzzing. Hi. Ow. Try. I would almost rather spend money on making a better. Where's my weight? 119. Let's just run around and pick up some wood. If that's even a thing. And just that deer. What level was it? It's gone. Let's go get our cart. <laughs> Just a happy woodsman in the woods, putting stuff in his cart. His cart has bees and wood. I got bees and wood. I'm gonna sting you. Then I'm gonna wood you. And it's gonna be a great time for all. Swing in. <laughs> What am I doing? Um, wow, I am all red in that little shot there, and I pretty freaky. God, it's fucking. Um, yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna keep going here. I want to get these bees done, but I think this will be our last one for now. I honestly can't concentrate with. I'm real sensitive to noise distractions. Um, although I think just about anybody wouldn't be wouldn't like going every eight seconds in their fucking head. Um, okay, keep this going. Coal. <laughs> Card is great, man. I uh, I haul my tools out to my balcony whenever I do woodworking, and it's like I appreciate having an efficient container for hauling shit to your workstation. Mmm, mmm. That's I'm okay. We're going to take it out. I can't. I'll just have to listen to my ear the old-fashioned way. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. What is all that tin? I think there's still a couple more to smelt. All right. Very good. Nope, nope, nope. Let's not make the mistake either of uh, using up all my wood that I've got for the bees. Because I wanted to make, I need 80 of them, right? Okay, so, all right. And these. Oh, there's deer running around. It's all stressed out. Birds. Oh, 
could have sworn that was perfect. It would have been perfect if it hit it. Oh, come on. That's got it. Boom. Got the deer. This one's gonna be high. Okay. <laughs> they really they really gave me a lot of chances. There's all kinds of stuff out here to shoot. Boom. Alright, that shit'll still be over there. Okay, so where do we want to put bees and not get too busted up by the bees? This seems like a nice little area, right? Can I do it? Where's my workbench uh, radius? Oh, I have the workbench over by the... All right, hang on, guys. Ugh. Okay. Okay. How's my voice coming through? Yeah, looks like it's good. Since I can't hear it, I, I yeah, whatever. I'm just used to that. All right. Um, put a light up. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll make a little plot, little B plot. Let's see how big they are. Let's start with one. None, none in the workbench. So I need to build a workbench. Since we're wants to have a conversation and we'll kill his friend so there's no witnesses yellow that's ugly as hell isn't it um, perfect night for some bees some bright ass lights above the moon wow the bird had a shadow now they're raiding my house What the heck? It's a bird convention. Why am I not? Oh, my. Of all the times to run out of arrows, I see one, two, three, four, five. I think there was one other in there. Can you believe it? Tell you what, we're going to build a workbench. We're going to build some arrows. Just put it over here. Over here by my sex tree. Uh, placement. Come on. My God. I don't want it sticking out in the open like that. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now I can... I need a roof. All right, does that... I forgot about that part. Does that still apply to the bees problem? Probably. Maybe not. Okay. All right. Let's just put one down. Let's do kind of a... Let's make this kind of cute. I like things that are cute. I don't know how much space I need between them, but that seems about right. Oh, damn it. It's not good if it's not centered. Will they fight if they're so close to each other? Well, here's what I gotta do then. Six, switch, switch. We gotta build two of these. And switch back, beehive. Now I should be able to. Okay, now when I put it 
there on that rock. All right, we'll just leave it on two of them. That's cool. And then, um, sorry, getting a little tripped up on my buttons. Two of them. <laughs> yes, yes, I am the king of bees. Let's make it like a perimeter. Busted that one up. Let's uh, did I get my, my did I get my queen back? I should have five. Okay. I mean, they're not coming from the water direction, so it's sort of dumb to do it that way. I just don't know if this will work. So we'll, let's roll it up a little more like this then. Okay. So I guess if I'm getting attacked, I'll just run over here and we'll just all get stung. But like a wall of bees around the, I almost called it an apartment, would be cool. So like I should do it, I should put them up here. So maybe as we gather more, we'll build out around like, a, we'll kind of start making a fence line. Of bees. What am I missing? Workbench? None. No, I wasn't standing in it. Okay, so I'm just assuming they just spit out honey every once in a while. Very nice. <laughs> All right, yeah, look at that. It's like I've built like a a gnome, a community of gnomes to worship me. And I don't like the way I did the uh, design. I wanted to make it like a sine wave or something a little more, with a little bit more finesse. But it is what it is. We're just going to have to live with it. Luckily, I'm the only human in this entire galaxy. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to keep the pristine land... Oh well. Um, all right. Let's make it kind of random then. If it's gonna be goofy, let's make it goofy. Six Q Q. Sorry, I'm. Yeah, the workbench placement wasn't the most uh, most inspired choice I've ever made. Um, one more up here. Oh, God. But let's... Uh, at least I don't need the roof. Oh, so crafting needs the roof. The workbench will let you do stuff without... Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's just fine. Oh, yeah. Here's some deer carcasses and some birds. Alright, let's put up, so since, let's keep this path open, this will be our, we need a road to our shore. Is 
This will be like our dock. Eventually we'll build a whole shipping center here. Oh, I see my... Give it a chance here. Coexisting peacefully with boars. idea how to plant stuff. Okay. That's how we get to and workbench. Not be so freaking precious about every placement. That's stuff to do. I got hot dogs to cook. Um, since this is over here, it definitely should be. I don't even know if these function as defensive structures at all, so. Those two there are a little bit close together. That's all right. We'll stress about that another time. So when do I check bees? The bees are happy. It's empty. Okay. Hey. Well, if I had a torch, I'd teach them who's in charge. Let them know if they step out of line. Okay. Great. I think that's all of our... No, we got one more. We got one more. Oh, since we came over here, let's just do our coal here. Um, fire all that up. Pretty good on the coal for now, though I'm definitely going to want to probably just keep producing them. One bee, one queen. Um, put this one on the ground. What? Oh, wood. Did I leave some in my cart? I think I did. Yes. The cart is so funny. I don't know why that cracked me up so much. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Right there. Maybe the ones that are high up are taking the bees out of attacking range. And do they attack me? All right, we have. To, I really want to see if I can get them to kill something. <laughs> Come on. Well, the deer's definitely not going to chew. Oh, I'm out of arrows, motherfucker. Let's go to our arrow crafting station. I know, it's like I built a bunch of totems to my to my glory. Worship me. Point at my house. Let me feed on your worshiping energy. I need attention. Okay. What why did I come over here? Oh yeah, arrows. Build. Alright. Priorities. Play for like another 5-10 minutes. Uh oh. Definitely it's one of those things I'm going to have to repair. I love that you can just do whatever you want. Like while you're... Oh. He knew I was shooting at him. Oh. It's a tough shot here. There he goes. All right. Yep, 
Uh oh. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, look at this devastation I've wrought. So what are the stuff we need? We need to do... Really, I need to get out there and find... Everything. But metal... I don't think we have another trip in our in us to... Oh, I gotta go repair. Sorry, guys. I'm just being a little screwy here. I'm not eating my food. Let's go empty. We'll do another round of... Well... Yeah, we'll get we'll gather up some trees. Get another round of wood. After I clear and empty some stuff here. Um, okay, feathers. A bunch of arrows in here. Rocks. Great dwarf eyes. Go. That's not it. Not there either. Since we have a bunch, let's make this middle chest our Grey Dwarf chest, which someday will be brimming with the eyeballs of my victims. Classic, classic serial killer. Dandelions. Deer head. No, no, down low. We have two stacks of those already. Same with the boars. Ancient seed and... Other seeds are in here. Got a lot of those. Should be able to regrow my forest if I could figure out how to plant seeds. Oh. Oh, fuck. Um, oh. <laughs> They're everywhere. All right. Doing something about meat. I know one of the recipes that needs necktails. Okay, let me just check recipes real quick. Just curiosity. Once it kind of gets it in your head, and that way you can kind of remember what you're... So we just need honey. We need a lot of honey. Thistle, that's good to know. And coal goes into that one. So we got... Curious to see how useful these all are. There's probably not really worth all the hassle. I bet, you know... Although, I'm sure there'll be times where I'm like, Oh god, I wish I had some stuff. So after we go gather some trees, we're going to... Um, nothing to do with the smelter now. After I gather up some trees, we are going to... Um, oh fuck, I didn't repair my axe. Uh, make a weapon, like a copper knife, I think. Or something. We'll just. I just want to make something since all we've been doing today is trying to get to the point where I can make crap. Seems weird not to. Let's fix up. Could be a little loud. Fix up everything. And there is anvils. Okay. An anvil will be cool. I don't Man, I've lost my touch. <laughs> what the heck? So, one quick test. I know I was going off to get trees, but I want to see if I can get these boars to follow me over to where I can kill them with bees. Get him. Get him, bees. Didn't seem to work. Yeah, these bees are suckers. Shitty. They're bad workers. All right, now I punched him. Maybe that'll tell the bees that he's an enemy. 
Daddy's punching a boar. <laughs> Come on. All right. All right. It doesn't work on boars. To be fair, they are uh, giant tanks that live in the wild. So they maybe they're used to bees. Maybe the gray dwarves or something will will get killed by bees. Which would be fun. Huh, it just occurs to me, maybe, I really would be surprised if this is the answer, but it might be that stumps leave a spot and that's where you can put a seed? Like you're just replacing a tree that you pulled out of the ground? So let's go get a seed, or 14, and we will see what happens. Y'all happy? I'm sure it's going to be a while. Yeah. Okay. I really doubt this will be a thing, but... We'll put seeds up at number eight, and... Yeah, it doesn't really... Maybe you just put it on the stump. You can't use beach seeds on stump. I mean, there are ways of prepping the ground. Let's try... Now, eight. What do you think? The only other thing I can think of right now is to, uh, like, when I come across those little towns, I can, there's often, like, raspberries in a fenced area, so maybe I have to sort of set it up a little bit more like a fenced farmy thing, but it seems like you shouldn't have to do that for giant trees, doesn't it? Oh, you saw me. Okay. Well, let's continue to murder this forest. Saw something up in. Okay. There comes a guy. Maybe we can get him stung by bees. Come on. I gotta look for my... Oh, there's my cart. Okay. Come on, buddy. Stay mad at me. Here, how about some beasting in light blue? Is that teal? Not quite. Teal's a little more green than that, I think. All right, here we go. Come on, bees. Kill them. Sting them. Poison them. What's the point of having all these bees around? I thought I had a brilliant wall. I thought this was a perfect fence. A perfect solution for a distressed viking all by himself. Okay, even hitting me doesn't seem to anger the bees. They are disloyal. I will crush them. I will drink their vomit and get drunk on it. That's a promise. All right, well, that, that didn't work. Um, back to... And bees pollinate. Maybe bees help repollinate like trees and stuff. So maybe I should be putting them all the way up and up and around in here, not just set up the way they are, which is goofy. So yeah, I, I, as cool as it looks, I'm gonna probably relocate some of them.
No. Closer. Comes a pig. I picked up some beach seeds. <laughs> I think that's good. And then we'll go make something. Just put some stuff away. It's also good for just other generic stuff. And since I'm thinking about it, let's do some repair. Oh, I gotta be at my crafting. Okay, I guess that's fair. Oh, <laughs> ran into a bush. me up so much. Yeah, this huge stump is cool, but I'm kind of needing to make a parking lot over here, and it's probably, it stays are numbered. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. Why not? Oh, it did. Okay. Boxes take a second to disappear. Alright. What do we want to make? Put some of those stuff away. And, um. I have 13 copper, 30 tin. We made. The sconce gets two copper. Not sure if I'm ready to upgrade to sconce living, but. This is all just crafting the forge. We could make a bronze to upgrade. That might be involved. Um, bronze had arrows. Those are going to be pretty tough. I'm sure I'll want those eventually. Copper knife with eight coppers. Hmm. So this thing will take... What is one bronze again? Two to one. Okay, so a buckler will take 20 bronze. There's a lot of bronze. That's not going to be too hard to get a hold of. So. I think a spear. And a knife if we can swing it. So let's try for that. So we have eight. So six, we need two and twelve. Twelve and eight is twenty. I only have thirteen. That's not going to be enough, but let's... I know I'm carrying too much. Um, One-handed axe. Backstab 3x. Backstab 10x. Eight coppers. I don't have any wood on me. Okay. I think what we'll do is make the copper knife and the anvil. I think I have enough for that. I might not, but I'm pretty sure I can make two bronzes. Because the anvil takes two bronzes. Do I have any tin? Yes, I do. Okay. So, two of these. Ding. And because it upgrades. Oh, great orifice. Okay, good. That's good. Good to know. Um, and then now let's make our anvil. So, do we want it tucked away like that? 
kind of like being able to get right up against here because this is going to block part of my access. I can also hide it back here. If I move the tanning thing, okay. That's good enough. Oh, saw some stuff. What was that? Missed it. Does it say I can use it? No. All right, hang on. I'm gonna put my uh, my microphone thing back in my ear. All right. Oh, good. I it's so much nicer to be able to hear my my microphone feed. Okay. Cool. So, um. Some recipe just went flying by, but I didn't see what it said. I don't even know what it was, but... Let's, uh... Copper four. I have one. Oh, man. I'm overloaded. Luckily, I can reach chest from where I was standing. Might have... You know what? There just might be a copper tucked away. No. I knew it was like one of these kind of greenish colored things. Alright, I don't think that's any copper. Man, I really need more blueberries. Need more. I need just I just need to now just gather everything I can. Until I figure out what I really need though and what's really useful. Certlings, yep. Okay, well, yep. I thought I'm, I was hoping I had like a copper supply. I didn't realize I had tucked away. So let's um, check out the knife. So the knife we currently have is doing slash eight, eight, block power five, okay? Copper is gonna be doing nine and nine. It's better. And after I upgrade it, it'll be, let's see what it looks like. Hmm, wrong button. So here, here's the regular knife. If I can get a shot of it. Kind of hard to, there it is. That copper knife. Just a little shinier. Sit down. Okay, I didn't do it. All right, that was very underwhelming. <sighs> so much to do stuff I'd like to see let me just see if the axe is this a tree axe or a, it looks more of a fighting axe a warriors tool compared to I mean it has the same stat lists so it makes me think all right that's something to think about maybe that might be not just a, a weapon but a better killing thing so let's say if we like make like this is six so this is actually 12 copper bronze axe is eight so it's 16 copper this thing is eight that's 16 copper or 32 it's 44 copper these are five each, so that's another uh, 20. I mean, we're talking, I probably need to make all this at least 70 or 80 copper. At least. Plus all the stuff and all the smelted stuff. And yeah, man, we got a lot of work to do. I like this game, man. It's every, every, every time I get back into it, or, you know, every day we seem to uh, make a little progress about. Since that's a weapon upgrade. Um. Very good. I, we're signing off then, everybody. You guys on Twitch, thank you for watching. It's so nice to see you in there chatting a little bit. That's cool. Just it's a blind playthrough. I'm a little bit uh, hesitant to uh, see any assistance or help spoiler type of things. Um, as much as, as nice as that is, it's uh, part of the whole point of this is it's me figuring it out. Although eventually there's a point where it's ridiculous and I'm sitting here suffering and making the viewer suffer along with me. Um, but that's all right. Um, we're all pulling for James. No, he's going to be fine. We're 
by the time this is published, a lot more will have happened. If you guys didn't catch it in the previous episode, he's having a big surgery. So uh, stay tuned for some updates. A kind word is appreciated. Or a thought. You can even pray. However you feel like you would like to convert some 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 energy into, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to sit and be like, don't pray. It doesn't do anything. Fuck you. It's like, all right, all right fine. When politicians say it, they can go screw themselves because that's that's their way of saying that we don't care. It's kind of twisted that the word prayer means f go fuck yourself in politician speak because it means there will be no action. You will get no help from us. Oh, what do you mean? I did help. I prayed. That's politician. Um, that's in the politician realm again. Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to uh, getting on the other side of some of this stuff so that we know James is going to be okay. Because he is. He's going to be fine. I mean, the probabilities are extremely high for him. Everything's going to be good. But yeah, no, it's like driving through a snowstorm. We're probably going to be fine. The cars are pretty good these days. Uh, good stuff. Why am I ending on these morbid thoughts? So guys, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Gonna, I'm out of wood. I can't even light a fire in my own damn bedroom. This is like my dream house where I just have a bed, a bunch of chests of my loot, and all I have to do is jump out the window and I'm in my workshop. <laughs> like some kind of Willy Wonka of the woods. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's light it up and we're going to go to sleep. I can't sleep. Okay, well, whatever. I guess that means we're signing off. Good night, uh, y'all in the chat. Good night, uh, Shelster Bell and Butternickels and uh, others who are watching. Thank you guys on Suck Professor. Working hard, putting out stuff, having fun, trying things, experimenting. It's fun. We're having fun. Good night. Goodbye. Turning off the stream, turning off the video. Bye bye. See ya.